What's up everyone, Zeph Films here with another uh, Let's Play video. Uh, this one is actually, we're going to be playing the new episode uh, that has been released today, September 12th, 2017, called Beyond the Nexus. Uh, so let's, actually, before we do anything... I gotta crank this audio up a little bit. That should be good. Alright, let's uh, hail. Beyond the Nexus. We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate, but they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Hmm. All right. And uh, so we're going to be getting some XP uh, featured episode weekly reward, which contains a choice of enhanced universal tech upgrade or one specialization point uh, to 720 dilithium ore. And you choose one of the following uh, console engineering reinforced armament mark 12. Uh, and or or a high density beam rifle type. Ooh, you know I might replay it again later just to get both. So let's accept this mission, exit, and uh, let's hit that transwarp button. All right, so here we are, and let's begin beyond the nexus. Good to see you again. Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both in a disabled state. Neither of them have responded to our hails. I'm just, before I start getting into this, it's so badass to hear uh, Jordy LaForge in game. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. That's entirely possible. Even minimal exposure to the Nexus can be pretty disruptive to ship systems. I think we should take a closer look. Things could be worse than our initial scans have indicated. All right, let's get closer. Maybe we'll go back in time and something, something, something. There's the Challenger over there. Apologies, the ship has taken some damage here. Short range comms are barely working, and we're experiencing widespread systems failure on all decks. Our Nexus defense screens overloaded. And we were exposed to a full blast. We're lucky to be here. We could use your help. All right. Uh, challengers and something's not right here. I worked on the Nexus Defense Screens project, and a catastrophic failure like that seems unlikely. In an overload situation like she described, the ship wouldn't be disabled. It'd be destroyed. Oh. All right. Let's scan. Yep, some Nexus radiation and signs of minor combat dash damage on both ships, but nothing close to what the captain of the Madison was claiming. Uh, the Madison has raised shields. They're powering up their weapons. What? Why you do this? Whatever they fired just disrupted most of our systems. We're sitting ducks over here. I really hope we get a coolant leak line in this mission. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, let's bring the doctor. Uh, 
Looks like someone activated the security system on this deck. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about that system. The console here is offline, but there should be a functional one nearby in a holodeck. From there, we can access the system and shut the fields down. Sounds good to me. Alright, so we got a quick demo record so we can do a screenshot of Jordy LaForge. Uh, so find... whoops. Find a way to bypass security. Go to the holodeck. Alright. Gotta say, so far this is uh, this is pretty cool. <laughs> There's a door back here. Wow! Holy shit! Pardon my French. All right, so we're going to holodeck. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next one. Okay. This is so cool. All right, let's get to work. With luck, we should be able to bypass the system and drop those... Wait. Wait. Someone's loading up a holodeck program in here, and I've got a feeling it's not for R&R. &R. Activating program Barkley, 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. What? Please, help us. The Borg are everywhere. Wait, but you weren't in here a minute ago. Pew 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 pew. The program's locked. We'll have to survive the battle to leave. Well, good thing I brought a doctor. <laughs> Alright, let's take it too long. Little pea shooter of a gun. Unless they change the program. Unless they change the program. I'm just happy I don't have to remodulate re my weapon in this one. Alright. Oh, oh shit. Thank you. If there's anything I can do to repay you, anything at all. Oh my. Um <laughs> I just wanted to point out uh the board cube off in the distance. That's pretty cool. Uh pause. <laughs> That's definitely a Oh I didn't mean to do that. That's definitely a red Barkley program. <laughs> Let's get back to business. <laughs> we better bypass security before they send more sparring partners to deal with. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Been a while since I've done this little. The background threw me off a little bit too. Just doing the one at uh, the Dilithium mine. There we go. Okay, that did it. Security systems are down on this deck, and they won't be putting us into another holodeck scenario anytime soon. That's yeah. This is Commander Kibai. Please respond. I repeat, if you can hear this. Come to tent forward at once. There's... Our defenses just dropped. We require your assistance. They are closing on us. Hurry. It won't be long before they attack. Who? Someone's jamming that signal. We'd better get to tent forward. Yeah. Um, Alright. Just take a quick look. I guess we could go this way. Yeah, I really like this, uh, this is really cool. Oh, that's cool. This is cool too. 
Thank you for coming. The Madison has been taken over by hostile forces, and we are in dire need of assistance. What happened? We responded to a distress call from USS Forrestal, long thought lost to the Nexus. As we closed to assist, the Madison was struck by a potent beam of psionic energy. It disabled the ship and left us vulnerable to attack. Mind-controlled members of the Forrestal's crew then beamed over and took control of this vessel. We few are all that remain free. Who or what is behind this? An alien of tremendous psionic ability, formerly trapped within the Nexus. We believe it lured the Forrestal there in an escape attempt, which failed. Somehow, it was able to break free when the Nexus recently returned. Though powerful, there are limits to the alien's ability. The combat with your ship has weakened it considerably. Now is the time to strike. The controlled crew are bound to attack again soon. All right. Picking up transporter signals, multiple contacts. Whoop. We've got incoming. Enemy contacts inbound. Looks like we bought ourselves a little time. We should discuss our next move soon. You might talk with some of the survivors here for more information as well. Your call. Uh, well, yeah, we're doing a pop. We're doing a uh, proper walkthrough. So let's let's talk to all the people. Oh, am I glad to see you? Things were looking more than a little ugly until you got here. I'd pour you a drink. But all of the replicators went offline an hour ago. As good as can be, under the circumstances. Still amazed we haven't been, um, dominated by that alien. The commander thinks it's because we all come from a species with psionic abilities. As good a reason as any, I suppose. Uh huh. Uh, who was there to. Oh, there's these people. Ensign Saitel, security. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Our numbers have dwindled considerably since the enemy's initial assault. Until your arrival, I calculated our odds of survival at 4,286 to 1. <laughs> Difficult to fully assess at this juncture. However, I am willing to state that our odds have improved considerably. If all of you were psionics, our odds would be even better. The alien is quite ineffective against those with mental abilities. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ensign Rana, engineering. Sorry for staring, Captain LaForge. Your work on transwarp theory was required reading at the Academy. I never thought I'd actually meet you. Wish it were under different circumstances. Right. Well, they, they hit main engineering first. If you're going down there, be on your guard. Several of us tried to take it back a couple of days ago. They beamed in and took us by surprise. I was the only one to make it back here. Oh, something tells me we're going to engineering next. I have a feeling these attacks will intensify as the alien gains strength. If we're going to do something to save this ship, we'll need to do it fast. Let's get down to main engineering. <laughs> I think we can get a better grip on the security system there and use it to incapacitate both the hostile crew and the uh, I agree and totally Take called these it. Take psionic inhibitors with you. We hope to use them on some of our dominated crewmates prior to your arrival. But I suspect they will serve you better at this time. They should protect you if the alien attempts to take control of your minds. Okay. Uh... Guess we're going this way. Yeah. And oh, straight down the hall. All right. Turbo lift. Go to engineering. 
please let there be a coolant leak line. Please let there be a coolant leak line. Oh! What? Oh, near the warp core. Let's totally shoot our weapons towards it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh, he missed. Offline, and there's a lot of Nexus radiation getting past the screens. I'll handle the power situation while you deal with the radiation. Once that's done, you can bring the security systems back online. Okay. Also, this is just so badass. I'm gonna do a quick demo record. Alright. Uh, holster. Wrong way. Oh. Oh, I didn't even notice my doctor was down. Nice work. Radiation levels are back in the safe zone, and I've managed to prime the warp core. Give me a hand with it. And we can restore main power. Okay. Uh, I need to heal my doctor, so. Oh, he's right here. There we go. Restore war power. Cool it, Lake. Cool it, Lake. Cool it, Lake. Main power is back online, and warp core is stable. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like. Ah, uh, my bad. <laughs> did it. Main power is back online. And warp core is stable. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like the bridge is still under enemy control. It's a good bet that's where the alien is. Alright. Let's go, uh, let's go take the bridge while I quickly just I kind of wanted to look at that really quick and can you go up the ladder? Can you go up the ladder? No. Maybe next time. That's really cool. Glass is cracked. Huh. This is, uh... Yeah. This is really, really well done. I'm actually really looking forward to this as a, uh, a bridge interior. Or... Um... Yeah, interior. Ship interior. This ship and all upon it belong to Cosmo. Starfleet disagrees with you on that. No one see nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. We are here to assist you. Uh, 
think I gotta take out his lackeys. Sizing on this bridge feels perfect. Die, 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 die. Bam. I think that got him. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm reading the alien on sensors. It's back on the forestall. This isn't over yet. Oh, you get an accolade for visiting the uh, the ready room. I'm reading aliens on sensors. It's back to the forest. All oh, this, okay. Uh, but first, I want to see if there's. First. Oh yes. Oh. No way. All right. The Challenger might be able to fight, but most of this ship's crew is unconscious. Beam back to your ship and deal with the forestall. I'll do what I can here to get the shields up and keep the Madison in one piece. Okay. Not now. I want to just quickly really look at this. This is, uh... Holy shit. Holy crap. That is... Wow. We're just going to go ahead and do another demo record. I am working on a, uh, a well, will be working on a TNG um, video, but uh, I'm going to wait until we have a bridge that isn't so uh, <laughs> messed up. But let's just quickly take a look in here. Huh, I don't remember a bed being in there. No, this is cool. Nothing in there. Okay. So let's go. I'm reading the alien yeah. on sensors. Yep. The challenger might be. Okay. All right. Let's beam over. All right. So we're being hailed. I think it's the alien. Hmm. Oh, I'll strike you again and again. Once I was imprisoned within the Nexus, cast away for defying those who called themselves my rulers. And now a new jailer comes, demanding submission. <laughs> I feel like I'm going into a WWE content. <laughs> No, that's Challenger that's our ship. You. you cannot ask it. No, you're you're totally under arrest. If that is to be my fate, I yield. The ship and crew are yours. It is an unexpected mercy, one I would not extend to a vanquished foe on the battlefield. Much has changed since my banishment to the Nexus. One more real quick here. Let's 
I just can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> uh, you made the right choice. There we go. We're being hailed by the uh, Madison. Okay. Nicely done. I was able to get a call into Starfleet, and we should have backup here soon. In the meantime, I'll keep working with the crews of the disabled ships. We'll have them up and running again in no time. Cool. You saved a lot of lives here today. You showed mercy to someone who wasn't inclined to return the favor. That goes a long way. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Once we're done here, we'll go back to working with the Lucari on a big project. I've enjoyed seeing their protomatter technology firsthand. Hopefully, we won't run into any Zenkethi trouble while we're out there. I'd rather not see their protomatter weapon in action if I can avoid it. <laughs> oh, it's just, it feels like TNG. We're gonna just, yeah, no, we're just going on a simple, uh, simple uh, investigation of the star system. We're just gonna chart it and stuff, you know. Hopefully we don't run into any trouble. <laughs> All right, let's depart the system. All right, and hail command. Interesting report. This alien was trapped for eons in the Nexus and wanted to leave. As I understand it, the Nexus is a paradise. Apparently there's at least one life form out there who disagrees. Fortunately, you saved a lot of lives, and three Starfleet vessels. Captain LaForge tells me they'll spend some time in space dock, but they'll be ready for duty again soon. And we can use all the ships we can get on the frontier these days. Well done. Uh, it was a team effort, okay? I had the doctor with me, and Jordy was there. I didn't do all the work. Jesus. Alright, so we're going to take that and uh that is going to be the end of this uh this video i actually had a lot of fun with this mission uh i know i didn't do too much talking i probably did more demo recording than i should have in this one um but uh, i'm definitely going to play that again uh to get that rifle and then uh each week after that to get all the other rewards um but no really really well done i'm liking the look of the um the uh interior uh of the uh the galaxy i really really can't wait for that to uh to come out and uh i got some other things in the works as well uh in regards to hitting 2500 subscribers guys thank you very much for that uh i'll have a different video coming out about that uh in a little bit but uh, yeah, let's end this video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. And uh, if you are new here and watching this, uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification button. I try and upload every week at least. Um, past couple of weeks, not as much as I'd like to. But uh, I think you'll enjoy my cinematic stuff if you haven't seen it before. And uh, yeah, thank you again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.